guys and welcome to another video. Today I have for you guys the Pancor Jackhammer MK3A1 from Battlefield 2 and 3. So without further ado, let's check out this awesome creation. The MK3A1, an automatic shotgun developed or designed in 1984 by uh, Pancor. It was designed to fire at 240 rounds per minute and have a 10 shot cylinder that holds 12 gauge shotgun shells. And it's fully automatic, so it's definitely very powerful, but it was never actually released. Um, they made a couple prototypes, but it, they kind of just abandoned the project and it just kind of sat there with no love. But, um,. Yeah, Battlefield 2 and 3 brought this gun back, and me, myself, I'm not a fan of Battlefield, yet, uh, Battlefield 4 looks pretty cool, I might get it, but anyways, um, yeah, so this gun is really awesome looking, I'll just go through the details. So, you got the stock, very sturdy butt stock, the reloading magazine with the 10-round uh, cylinder, just goes in there. The handle, the working trigger, um, some gas vents, and the main barrel, and then the muzzle, and the sling mounts. Um, now, I did modify this gun a bit to make it more comfortable for me, so I added the sling mounts, and I made the barrel slightly not as um, curved, this part not as slanted. And I think it looks much better like this. The carrying handle is nice. And the, um, magazine, like I showed, and it slides in here. I'll show you guys the inside. Nothing fancy. It's kind of like my gunslinger from TF2 that I built a while ago. It's like the handle part, but the bottoms are moved, so you can put in this. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no fire selector from the pictures. I actually got this really helpful picture from Wikipedia. It's like the entire gun basically field stripped. So you have like a section of the stock, the barrel, everything's removed. And there was no fire selector or pump like shown in Battlefield 3. I did watch some gameplay with this guy. And apparently when you shoot this gun and you're out of ammo, you push it up, you load it, and then you pull it back. I don't think that's correct from the pictures I've seen, but if I'm wrong, just correct me. But, don't just say it because you like Battlefield or whatever. Actually have, like, a legitimate, credible, blah, 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 just a reliable source that I can look at and agree with you and stuff. But, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Here's a look down the iron sights. Now, I did actually modify them from the in-game model. The in-game has the uh, ring in the back and the trident, but I... Wanted to put that in, but I just honestly did not have enough room. I have two studs high of room in the handle here. And if I made it e either taller or, like, shorter, I guess, it would just look really weird. So I decided to add pistol sights instead. And honestly, I think these are more realistic because with an automatic shotgun, you're not going to go around aiming because the recoil is obviously going to be really powerful and you're not going to be able to get, shoot that accurate really so you just basically got to run around hip firing everyone but that's basically it so i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to smack that like button if you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time